have hit off of her before, but to hit on first pitch swinging and be that dialed in, what, what was preparation? How dialed in were you to, to be that dialed in against one of the best pitchers in the country? With my age, I've had the luxury of facing Megan since I was probably 14. Um, so I've, I've had the most at-bats off of her, and I think we had a really great game plan going in, and I credit that to Coach Martyr. Um, we prepared and we prepared and just feeling confident in the box. Was there anything in particular that she was doing tonight that you, you particularly were seeing? Because even, even that one out was you know, like a 10 pitch at bat. Uh, so you were, you were really dialed in. But the team as a whole also seemed to be. Was there anything in particular you guys were looking for that she was throwing? Or was it just kind of the preparation paying off? Yeah, I, I just think it's the preparation and being confident in the box. When we're confident in the box, we're pretty unbeatable. You mentioned age, there. A younger player who had the weekend last weekend that you had might have gotten down because, I mean, you <laughs> there were a lot of unjust outs. I mean, you were seeing the ball really well but didn't have to get the results. How, throughout the course of the week, is it age and experience that you know, like, you did everything right a lot of times and it just didn't necessarily get the result, but that you weren't, you didn't have to change anything necessarily. Yeah, I've said this a lot. Um, I'm a very process over outcome person. And I think sticking with the process and like you said, with my age, just learning that you're not always gonna get the outcome you want, but that doesn't mean, you know, you have to panic. Just sticking, sticking with the plan, staying the course and preparing for the next week. Perspective on Morgan's outing. I love catching Morgan. Um, I love her pace, I love what she does, I love when she gets ahead, and it's just really fun to catch Morgan. How awesome is it when you guys have a 3 nothing victory, but it feels like it could have been a lot more, there were some runners left on base. What is, does that speak to the potential of this group against a third-ranked you know, UCLA team? Yeah, absolutely. I think that you're going to, you know, you see the potential there, and there's definitely people that are on the rise, and I'm really excited to see where this team goes because I, I have no idea, and that's, that's the fun of it. Is, uh, we have such a high ceiling, and it's, I'm really excited to see when we get there. Big focus is coming off the last week, and was taking advantage of opportunities. There weren't a ton of opportunities tonight, but it seemed like every time, almost every time you got a runner on, you were able to push one across. Just why was the kind of execution bad? Yeah, I think that goes back to confidence. If you're confident in the box, um, confident in the box, you're seeing the ball and you're putting balls in play. It's really hard to defend that, and bringing that momentum from defense to offense is really, really good for us when you clearly a very big leader on this team. How much are you embracing not just that role, but setting the tone for what tomorrow could be, what matchups could be presented for you personally, for this team, for what tomorrow could mean, and, and obviously hoping to take a series? I think the cool thing about this team is there's so many leaders. Obviously, you know, Bunk and I have been here the longest, but you have leaders on defense like Paige. You have leaders in the outfield like Hannah. You have me behind the plate, Morgan on the mound. So I don't think it's coming just for me, and I think that's the most impactful part. I think every single person has a role, and we're very aware of our role, and we're excited to bring that into tomorrow.